come here, sit. Come here. Sit. Sit. Wait, sit. Sit. Down. Wait. Down. Charlie, down. Wait. Yay! The poles are arriving. So we were just saying, oh, we've got no wood, but they're all arriving. Long building solutions are building our shed. They were here bright and early, eight o'clock sharp, and um, they're doing an awesome job. They're just cracking straight into it. This is so exciting. I can't tell who's more excited. Dogs? Or me? Alright, so day one and the guys have done a huge amount. She's going to fly along pretty quickly. We are stoked and it looks huge. It looks really huge. Stay tuned to see how quick this thing goes up. Hiya! Welcome back to Stepping Stone Farm. I'm Jade and today I well, I'm doing a little bit of hanging out actually. It's day two of our shed build. Oh, things are swimming along for day two. The poles are up, the concrete truck is here, and uh, we just had approval from the city council um, to say that the pole, poles were deep enough and good stuff. So, I um, have come down our very back paddock, so down the long line, and I'm just Hang in with some pretty goats. <laughs> hey, there's a funny girl. You guys are funny. Right, so we got mum over there. Whoops. Mum over there with her twins, Cream, and her twins are Vanilla and Ice. We got Mary and Jane. We've just come down here, Mary and Jane. Hey girls, say hi. And then we've got coffee and cream. So everyone's hanging out in their little family units today, aren't ya? Yeah, everyone's hanging out in their little family units today, which is quite cute. We have over this side of the fence, looking all sad, Gary. He does have friends in there. He's got, he's got uh, seven cattle in there with him to keep him company. Hey, Gaza. You're a bit sad, eh? It's a bit sad that he's not in with his, his girls, his harem. So we're just chilling. We're um, our creek that runs through, dried up. Um, it's super muddy. The goats have been in it. They um, had to discover it for themselves, which was great because, yeah, we were here. So we got to watch to make sure that they could get out get out of the creek, not out of the paddock. But they have been getting out of the paddock. They've been getting out of the paddock and into um, the Ponies Paradise, which runs, this is the back end of the Paradise track, and, um, and going over there and snuggling with Gary, because they're just as keen on him as, um, as he is on them. So, today, I've just popped up this little, I don't know if you can see it, hang on, I'll switch camera views. So I've just popped up this little uh, electric wire and, um, and that has managed to keep them in. Logan and I popped it up yesterday and, um, and we put a spring under the gate as well over there um, and I just had to come finish it off this morning but even as it was last night it kept them in so that's a good sign. And there's our guardian dog, Charlie. Charlie, are you eating the goat food or are you eating the poos? All right. So Charlie grew up with Mary and Jane, literally in the same kennel. Mary and Jane would try and push all the puppies out of the nice warm dog kennel and um, preferred the puppy kennel over, over their own little kennel. So, um, so they're really great with the goats and the goats have no fear whatsoever of our dogs. Playing like crazy. Alright, so the 
fence is turned back on and uh, we'll leave the goats to enjoy their afternoon. It's fantastic weather here. Still a little bit windy but not too hot, not too cold. It must be about 24 degrees and um, oh, I'm excited to go and see how much further these guys are along. They are absolutely flying ahead with this shed and looking at it yeah, once the poles are in, you look up and you're just like, my gosh, this is going to be huge. Huge. Fantastic. All right, so I'm walking down the um, paradise now. If anybody knows what that kind of weed is, you can tell me. It pretty much grows wherever the ground's been turned. And, um, and there was a pond or something. Kind of looks like Vietnamese mint, but um, I'm pretty sure it's a weed because weeds are the only thing that I grow really well. And it grows really well here for me, so the goats do eat it, but there's just copious amounts of it. Alright, shed time! So it's day two of the shed build, and this morning we had the council come and check the depths of the posts, and now... Um, with that passed, they are concreting the in, so she's all go. Quick update on one of our goals. If you guys have seen that video, um, you'll know that one of our, well, one of my goals is to improve soil quality on the farm. So I'm going to start with this paddock here behind me. If you can see it. Um, I've already started clearing all those brown weeds. There's my pile over there, but I can't light them on fire. We're on a fire ban, um, probably for another two or three weeks. So once that fire ban's over, I will finish cutting those um, and have a little fire and burn them all. The plan is for this paddock to seed, see all these high areas where it's died off and it's just sand. We're gonna seed all of that in um, legumes. I will put the type of seed down here in the description and um, it's like a green, um, what do they call it, not a green fertilizer. Basically it helps you turn your sandy soil into a reasonable soil. So we need to start doing some of, the, of those crops maybe once or twice a year um, on the high sandy bits. So we can start, yeah, turning the sand into some decent soil that will continue to grow grass all year round and hold a bit more moisture. That's our main problem, we just have no, sand has no um, moisture holding content whatsoever. So if you want to follow me on that, um, yeah, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button. And when I seed this and when I do my little burn off, um, I will, it'll be in our, one of our jobs or farm tasks. Um, and I'll probably make a video just on improving the soil and this experiment and seeing if that helps or not. Cool. All right, let's go check out the shed build. All right, so we've got the concrete truck here. That's our septic tank that's arrived. The septic tank isn't for the shed, it's for the house. So it's going in closer to the house site behind us. But this is the front of the shed. Poles are up and braced and the concrete truck is here and they are now pouring concrete in the holes after it passed inspection this morning. Alright, on that note I will say bye and thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe so you can see all the other stuff and things that we're getting up to on this farm. Okay, bye.